Now with that football firestorm overnight, the embattled coach at the University of Maryland, DJ Durkin, was fired just a day after being reinstated to that job. So many were outraged. He's got he'd gotten his job back after a player died of heat stroke. We will be speaking with that player, Jordan McNair's father, in a moment. But first, ABC's Paula Ferris is here with the latest on this one. Good morning, Paula. Good morning to you, Cecilia. Good morning, everyone. What? A stunning turn of events. Durkin was reportedly surprised by the school's decision to terminate him, but there are many who are upset that the University of Maryland did not do the right thing until they were forced to. Just 24 hours after reinstating their embattled head football coach, the University of Maryland caving to massive public pressure. Our voices were heard. Reversing course, announcing they've now fired DJ Durkin, who'd been under fire following the death of 19-year-old freshman Jordan McNair. We have an individual hyperventilating after exercising and unable to control their breath. It was determined that McNair died two weeks after suffering heat stroke during an intense workout earlier this spring. An investigation was launched looking into allegations of a toxic culture within the university's football program, a culture which Jordan McNair's family believe led to his death. He will always give it his all. And so for him to, he wouldn't have stopped. He, he, he wouldn't have stopped because if that's the culture, then he didn't want to be called the names. After a two and a half month suspension, the Maryland Board of Regents, which oversees the state's universities, stood by the embattled football coach, reinstating him on Tuesday. We believe that Coach Durkin has been unfairly blamed for the dysfunction in the athletic department. And while he shares some responsibility, it is not fair to place all of it at his feet. But by Wednesday, the student government planned to protest, many pointing to the million saved by not buying Durkin out of his contract. One of McNair's teammates tweeting, a paycheck was chosen over that life. And the university had no choice but to part ways, saying the overwhelming majority of stakeholders expressed serious concerns about Coach DJ Durkin returning to campus. A departure is in the best interest of the university. Now, there were two investigations. One of those investigations did not find a toxic culture, but did say the athletic department lacked a culture of accountability. And as for the university, they could now face additional legal fallout from firing Durkin. He could sue the school on a number of claims. Cecile, it's looking like this could be a very messy separation. Okay, Paula, thank you. And Jordan McNair's father, Marty, and their family's attorney, Hassan Murphy, join us now, gentlemen. Thank you both for being here this morning. Mr. McNair, I want to start with you. What is your reaction to Coach Durkin being fired? Um, relieve, a uh, surprise. Um, a level of gratitude that the right thing was done so far. This was a huge shock, even to you, this, yeah. this firing, because just 24 hours earlier, he had been reinstated to the job. And when that happened, you'd said publicly that you felt like you were punched in the stomach. Does what happened now change any of that? Yeah, somewhat. Um, just due to uh, uh, the, the decision that Dr. Lowe made, this is a step in the right direction. Mr. Murphy, before Coach, Coach Durkin was fired, you'd said that the only person who paid for what happened to Jordan was Jordan, and he paid with his life. Durkin is now out. Should anyone else be punished? I don't know really if that's for us to say anymore. I, our fight now is about getting justice for this family and for Jordan's name and in his memory. We heard uh, Paula just say there that one of the investigations blasted the culture of the athletic department, saying that it lacked accountability. I, I guess this question is for both of you. Is what happened to Jordan an isolated case? And, and, and Mr. McNair, do you have fear for the players who are still on the team? To answer your first question, no, it's not an isolated case. Um, exertional heat stroke injuries happen every year. You've had 2000. 30 plus deaths since 2000 in college, uh, collegiate athletics alone on the football field. It usually happened the first or second day of practice. So the main goal really moving forward at this point is to um, bring some type of awareness and prevention that everyone can see this, that this doesn't happen again because it was 100% preventable. And Cecilia, one of the things that we've seen in our investigation, we talked to dozens of former and current players and there was a toxic culture. I mean, we've heard stories of physical abuse, harassment, uh, beration, all types of 
horrible things. If this was indeed cultural, what about the players who are on that team now? Well, hopefully this will mark a change and an end. I mean, part of why Jordan died was as a result of the culture. As Jordan was literally in the early stages of death, they were calling him names. Mr. McNair, what is your message to, to student athletes out there who, who are pushing themselves to that edge, doing what their coaches are telling them to do? Uh, do? Do you have words for them this morning? To all student athletes, to know your bodies, you know, and, and know when your body tells you to stop, stop. Because you only have one body. And we don't want to be in, I don't want, I don't wish anyone to be in the situation that we're in right now with Jordan. Mr. Murphy, you had filed an intention to sue. Does that still stand? Absolutely. And whether or not that happens uh, will now be up to the University of Maryland. Well, our thanks again to you both for being here this morning. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.